Okay, so I copied the script that was created. Here it is. I, I didn't add the commas, or you could actually add those, and it doesn't seem to hurt it. I'm not sure why, to be honest. But anyway, if I go ahead and I run this, it'll have the result of this right here. How can APD know the truth here? Uh, doesn't really give me reasons why. I, of course, I, I could see why, because I've rewritten this basically in Apple Script. Just to show you, though, if I put some extra commies, commas in there. Commies? No, I don't put any commies in there. I put some extra commas in there. There we go. It still works. If I run it a second time, by the way, it gives an error, so I have to either edit it and then run it, or I found, I guess it's compiled code, and then it will run and be okay. I could delete the results, run it, oops, recompile it. So I guess it gets compiled. I don't know. Anyway, Apple Script. Notice, by the way, this is the JavaScript editor. If I try to run this in the Apple Script editor, it will, of course, fail because that's not. AppleScript, it's JavaScript. If I come into AppleScript, I could have it display the dialog. Run. And there it is. It's going ahead showing the answer right there. And it even walks through and will explain to you how it's working. Tell the current application, because I don't tell any application, it's just running straight from here. ASCII character 72 is H. ASCII character 111. Oh, goes straight down right there. Now, if I add an extra comma to this, it's going to fail. It's, it's going to find that extra comma. It's not going to know what to do with that. So it needs to have one of each of those, and I can keep running this. So yeah, they do run differently, um, but each time this one right here, it will walk me through and show me exactly how it's doing it. It's just converting each one of those, and then tell the script editor. I can't even, I'm going to comment this out meaning that won't work if I um, compile that. Is it really? It's not really compiling. I guess it is. I don't know. Anyway, but it comes up with the result right there. And if I just go with messages, it's just going to give me the message. With JavaScript, if I say just messages, it's going to give me, I think, the same thing. Yeah. I <laughs> can't run it twice. Haha. Uh -huh. But messages. But under replies, it doesn't go into any more details. On Apple Script, it gives me a lot more information as to what's going on. There we go. This right here, events, is just telling me, oh, it's getting the ASCII character of each of those. And again, notice this is this is kind of good to note with the ASCII character. This is on a Mac, but other people are running this on Linux. Other people are running it on Windows. This is just the ASCII character. It doesn't matter if you know, what if you're using an IBM, if you're using a Compaq, if you're using a Dell, if you're using an Apple, if you're using a machine you made yourself. It doesn't matter. This is ASCII, so you will, every single time, you'll get that same result. 